everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing. I'm here with you again on Taylor Island and we are getting ready to do the entrance way to the kids mall or what I call the kids mall and I'm so excited to have you guys here with me again as we begin this quick build. So this is the area that we are working on is be in between um, the area I have as a zoo and the museum. Uh, which I just did that walkthrough for you guys the other day. So I hope you check out that video when you get the chance. So as you can see, we have a little area. I already have the house set up. Um, that's the museum and then that's the zoo side. And I wanted the separation, so I have the walls separating the different areas just to kind of give it more of its own space and feel. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull up my island designer and get that started because I want to do an outdoor kids pool. Um, it's basically the theme I'm going with, just a little, you know, outdoors kids pool uh, theme park type feel to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull up the sand path and, and just start going at it, working on it. And I'm gonna do this whole area with the sand path and I promise you guys I'm not going to sit here and make you go through every single slow part of this. Um, so I am going to speed it up here as you can see. Uh, but you know, that's unfortunately the one thing that I wish they would update here in Animal Crossing is that we can maybe do sections, bigger sections uh, at a time. That would be so awesome. And it definitely makes things go a lot faster when you're building, especially when you're doing such big sections as you can see we are doing today. Um, and I'm just kind of going through and making sure I have my first, my outline done. Whoops, wrong spot. And I think I want to go ahead and cut that there. No, you know what? I can do that space. So let's go ahead and bring it all the way down. Uh, the one side, I know I don't have it all the way down as I do on the other side. That was because I needed that space and for as a museum for what I wanted it to look like. So, but we do have that space. So I can go ahead and put the sand there. At least that gives us the look of a complete perfect square that I was kind of looking for. Even though you won't see all of it by the time I'm done. So, of course, I always get interrupted <laughs> when I'm doing these builds. And today, Flick has decided to interrupt me. If you guys haven't met Flick yet, Flick loves bugs. And if you sell your bugs to Flick, she will give you more money than what they will give you for them if you try to sell them in Nook's, in Nook's Cranny. So, she also will give you the bug models, if you've seen the bug models, if you collect three of the same item or same bug uh, and give them to her she would commission a piece of bug art for you and get it sent to you so that's flick so now that i'm done talking with her i'm just going to keep going through and getting this done and if you guys could have one thing in animal crossing changed or something new that we could do what would be your guys' one thing? I would love to know this. I'm just kind of curious um, what everyone else would want. Mine, again, is definitely being able to do more bigger sections and a little bit more of my own things with when it comes to the construction and that. Another thing, big thing for me is I want to be able to use the items I put on my, my island. You know, like the teacup ride. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could ride the teacup ride? I think that would be so cool. So that is mine. What is your guys's? Just comment down below and let me know. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm definitely curious to see what you guys, what you guys think too. So now I'm in my custom designer again, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up my um, custom design that I had found through uh, just a random search for I just searched water I found this random design and I'm just gonna go ahead and start making my pool area so this is just gonna be another a square within the sand square that I'm gonna be making 
and I'm just gonna go through here real quick and of course again I'm going to speed it up because I don't want you guys have to keep going through it but um but yeah so now I'm gonna make this square and as you can see it's already starting the more you do it's starting to definitely transform and look more into the pool look I was going to put a border around it but I decided not to do that because once I get all the items that I want around the pool I don't think we need it and this kind of makes it look like the sand just goes right you know right into the water as well and I kind of like that look make it look more like a, there's actual beach around there so I just decided not to make it look more like a pool and make it more look like just like a little a little lake uh, you know hidden spot that the kids get with beautiful crystal clear water wouldn't it be amazing to find a place with that clear water that blue water I would love that so anyhow so here we go we got our pool done and now I want to start working on my entrance and for the entrance um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do but then it came to me um, as I was getting inspiration from other people's islands which I, you know, everyone I think does. We, you know, do the Pinterest or YouTube or just Googling our ideas and get ideas from other people. And I seen this idea that someone had done something similar to this. And I thought, you know what? I like that. So I decided, okay, this is what I'm going to do. So the first thing I did is I'm building up a four by four platform. And this is where we are going to put our entrance pieces that you're going to get to see. Oops, oh, I hate when I do that. Wrong spot. Now we're going to have to redo that sand. It's the only bad thing is if you have that has a custom design down. Oh no! Oops. Okay, now I'm really messing it up, guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, I have to go back through and then redo the sand. So let me just fix my couple of mistakes here. My person's like, nope, I want it all built up. I'm sorry, you can't have it this way. <laughs> okay, now that we're back to where we want to be. So now it's looking more like an entrance, right? So I'm going to just build an extra piece, not near the sand, so that way I don't have to redo the sand piece, but build an extra piece on just so I have somewhere to climb up and climb down as I put the items up there that I want up there. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up. And then in my inventory, I'm going to grab the kids' tent. And I used the circus color looking one because I thought that was fun. It's more of a carnival type feel to it. And I'm just kind of, I just turned it around so that way you don't see the actual entrance. And there it looks like kind of like a big top type tent. And I thought that was really cute. And once I get everything else on there, I think it's going to really make it look festive and fun and for kids right because this is my kids area and I'm just going through and I know I have another kids tent here I'm just kind of, there we go get the other kids tent and then again I'm just going to take and turn it around so that way you don't see the windows or the the back part since we only have one view outside that's another thing I kind of wish we had that 360 view that we have like inside the houses so there we go. So we have our tent. And I'm just going to take and tear this down because that's all I'm putting up there is just the tents. And that looks great. I love that. I mean, that makes a huge difference on its own. But I want to go the extra mile with this entrance. I want to make it really fun and festive. So I have uh, a little, this, uh, let's see, where is it? I'm looking, 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 looking. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have the arch. And I don't want the 2021 on the arch. Have you guys seen the celebratory arch? I love it. I think it's so much fun. And I think best of kids, don't you? And of course I put it. Where did I put it? There. Nope. There it is. Okay. So there's my arch. Now, oh. I just don't know what is with my person today. I don't want to put anything where it is. You guys ever have this difficulty? Nope, I don't want to turn it that way. I need to go push it this way a little. There we go. And then hopefully, no, go back. 
Thank you. Now hopefully I can get it to turn the way I want it to turn. Let's see. There we go. That's why I want it. And that way that 2021 doesn't show up. But you have those, those, all those balloons. I mean, what kid would not want to walk through an arch full of balloons, right? And to even go more with the balloons, I grabbed a couple of these festive uh, balloon lights, which would be cool because they'll light up at night. And um, yep, there we go. And I thought it'd be fun to place those on each side. So now check that out. Is that not fun to want to come in? But I don't like seeing the wall doesn't work for this area so I have these simple panels and with these simple panels I already customized them for this build and I just did red and white stripes on them and that way they kind of go with the whole the tens and the theme that I want to go with so I stuck one on the other side I couldn't stick too many on that side because I do have you know the stuff for the museum over on that side as well and now I'm just covering up this area and I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep going all the way over, um, even into the zoo side a little, just covering that. Just make sure there's that definition, that separation. So there we go. So now you're coming out of the zoo and then you're coming to these, this festival wall and I have a stall that I'm going to put up and I have the red and white stripes on it as well. And with this stall, I am, it's going to be my ticket booth. So I'm just going to stick some uh, dream tickets or Nook Mile tickets or something on there, um, which I don't have in my, uh, my storage right now on hand. Um, but I'm going to get a couple of those and stick those on there as well. So people can grab their tickets to come in and have fun. And then I want to make sure it lights up really awesome at night. So I'm just adding four lights to the entrance way just to give it a little bit of more uh, pizzazz, I guess is a good word you can use. Um, and then that way you can ha you can see all, see everything as you come in. And I'm just trying to make the floor lights now a little even because even though they don't need to be, I'm just, I like everything even. Um, so there we go and they are different colors but i'm okay with that because you know it's there should be different colors it's kids it's fun we all love colors right and i wanted to add a couple of coconut trees for shade and just for the ambiance i guess is a good word um you know just to give you that more of a beach feel you know to go along with the lake and let's see what else we have here I'm going to add a little sitting area so we have a little outdoor bench. But first I'm going to, because I just seen it, there we go, it's the teacup ride. I want to make sure I have plenty of room for my teacup ride. And I did the one with all the awesome color, different colors, kind of go along with all the other colors I'm using. And now I'm going to do the outdoor bench and outdoor table. Whoops, I guess my person needed a break. <laughs> Make sure that's pushed over all the way to the trees and then I'm gonna add the outdoor table right along with it. And I just need to push it up so that way it's even with the bench, there we go. And then that way couples can come and sit and have a picnic while their kids are playing in the water. And then um, I just, I decided to add this actually half in the water, half not because you know, I thought it'd be fun maybe you know, you go to the kids' water parks and that, and you sometimes see the little things that they can climb up on that sprays water and everything like that. And I thought, well, that'd be kind of cute, right? And then to just to kind of, I wanted to do something just to freshen up the house, make it a little bit more fun. So I used these large mushrooms from the uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, collection that they had given us. And I thought it just kind of make things a little bit more fun. I really want to add the beach chair under the mushroom, you know, and use it like a shade, but unfortunately it won't let us. So I'm going to stick the beach chairs just kind of over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them here or not, but for now we're just going to stick them over on this side just to kind of get them out of the way. So let me see. I'm just going to push this over. Oh, I don't know if I want it that close, but, um, hmm. 
yeah, I don't think I went that close, but I'm not, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them here or not, but for now, this is good. Oh, okay, I really want it back a little bit further, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and leave that there for now, and I'm just going to kind of place everything else that I want. I thought the little tire thing in the water would be something they can climb on and play, and, you know, maybe it's not that deep in one side, so there's, like, a little splash pad area, and then on the other side, it's deeper. Then we need a lifeguard chair. So I'm going to just set my lifeguard chair. And then, of course, we need a life ring because, you know, if something happens and the lifeguard's going to need the life ring, right? So, again, as I was doing searches and everything, trying to get some ins inspiration for this build, I had seen this awesome thing where someone had used the elephant slides and made it kind of look like a water slide. And... I'm not doing everything that they had done because they made it look really tall in the back by using simple panels and uh, custom, you know, custom simple panels and stuff. But I am going to do a little bit of it, just the two slides together. Oh, if I can get them. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull it out a little and see if we can get it to turn here. There we go, perfect. And then I just want to push back, make sure it's pushed back all the way. Okay, so there you go. So then you got your, it looks like a double slide. And of course you need water on your slide. So I thought, why not use the Cosmo flower shower um, as the part where the water comes onto the slide. It's fun and it's, you know, to me again, it screams, it screams kids. And so now we have this really cool water feature coming onto the slides for the kids to come on the water slide. So there's my little, my little elephant water slide. And now we're just gonna kinda go through and see what else we have. Oh, there's our kiddie pool. And we're gonna add this over if I can, let's see, get it added here. There we go. And this is maybe for the really young kids. They can play in that little, the little kid pool but again of course we need let's we need something that's going to keep that water flowing in that little kitty's pool so i'm going to add the little oops the little cosmo flower and i'm just going to push it over that way the water is actually going into the bowl and it just makes a little fun a fun area for the little ones and then let's put our large mushroom back there we go and it also hides the mailbox because I don't want to feel have that house feel, but I want to keep the mailbox nearby. Um, so that way, there you go. You have the house feel without without it. And so I'm liking this. I think this is looking good. I do have a few other things, so I wanted it to put out. So let's see what else we can do here. Um, we have, you know, of course, the floor lights still left. But first things first, I want to add the other beach chair. Oops. And let's see here. Let's switch it. Oh, no, it did it to me again. Okay, let's try going this way. <laughs> I'm running out of room to pull and move things. So let's just, there we go. Perfect. So we have our two beach chairs. And let's see. Try to make sure that we can get through everywhere nice and easy for our people. And then I also have this fun beach towel and I want to add it actually in the water to make it look like, oh, okay. How many of y'all done that? I know I do it all the time. Please tell me I'm not alone. <laughs> so I'm going to refix my little mistake there. And, but like I said, I'm going to take the beach towel and I'm going to leave it in the pool area just to make it look like a, one of those, uh, plastic floaty, inflatables so there we go we have some we have one of the kid inflatables and of course I need to add back now my tire toy for the kids to climb on and I have also again the floor lights and I think the lights I'm gonna put in the pool um, just to give some light at night so let me just try to Get this where I want it. Let's see. Let's push this over more towards kitty area. 
and over that way so that way I know we had room to walk and I also have this cute little my cute little froggy thing I thought would be just a fun little extra to add into it um turn it here that way you can see the frog I just thought it was fun and something you know something cute for the kids so let's put the beach towel back there we go and just make sure that we have plenty of room to get through everywhere okay looks like we can go that way just fine and now we can go this way this fine just that works so the only things I have left now, again, like I said, is those floor lights. And I think I'm going to add them into the pool area. Just so at night we have a little bit more of the, the light showing up. Oh, not there. Um, let's see. Can I add it more under, under here? No. Okay, let's try adding it here. There we go. Okay. So there's one. And then I have the other one. Let's see. And I'm not sure why I grabbed the bathroom sink. Um, I think that was just kind of one that was left in my cart or my pocket that I forgot to take out before the build. So now we're just trying to get the location of the next one. I really wanted it on each side of the, like, the door. But that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So let me see trying to decide where I want it now and you know and sometimes when you're building and everything that's all it is it's just you keep going until you get it to where okay this works so there's where I'm gonna put that light and there we go you guys that is the entrance and our little entrance to our kids mall and I'm excited to show you guys what the inside of our kids mall looks like our giant indoor playhouse for kids so uh make sure you guys comment down below let me know what you guys are thinking and if there's anything that you guys want to see let me know i would love to be able to do a video for you guys and don't forget to subscribe for future videos give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and until next time everybody please remember to keep playing animal crossing and i hope you loved it as much as i do so until next time bye